I want to sincerely welcome all of us to this special service of songs that has been organized in honor of our father, Chief Mobolanle Ademola Ajomale. I'm very grateful to you for coming and for being punctual. I pray that the Holy Spirit will descend mightily upon all of us. He also will be the one presiding over this service in Jesus' name. We have the program with us already. So we are singing the opening hymn, number eight, from the program of service of songs of St. Paul's Anglican Church, Breadfruit, Lagos. It's on page 11. For all the saints who from their labors rest. We shall rise to sing. Oh, 
standing, we shall bow our heads to pray. Our gracious God and Father in heaven, you are the beginning and the end of all things. You created both the visible and the invisible world. And for everything that you created, you have attached a time, a time to be born and a time to die. We are gathered unto you in the name of your son, Jesus Christ, to pay our last respect to our father, your son, the help of your high, who served you to the end of his life, Chief Mobolanle Ademola Ajomale. I want to thank you for bringing him to this world at the time that he was born. We are immensely grateful for all that you are able to achieve through him. We thank you for his life of love, his life of peace, his life of service, his life of sacrifice, his life of commitment to your work, his life of dedication to the service of humanity. We thank you for all the testimonies that are born concerning him. We thank you for his impactful life. He came, he saw, and he conquered. Thank you for the gift of good children unto him. Thank you for the companionship of his wife. They were together for over four decades as a couple. And thank you for blessing all their endeavors. Thank you for all his achievements while here on earth. Thank you for the various places where he worked. We are grateful, O oh Lord. It was very, very painful when you called him back home. It was unanticipated because we loved him and we see we are thinking you are going to give him many more years. But all things work together for them who love you and who are the called according to your purpose. Thank you because he was your son, he was your child. He surrendered his life to you. He was fond of you. He loved you. He feared you. He would not play with anything that has to do with you. He would be in the church regularly and punctually. He played his roles as and when due. I will thank you because he was a patron to many societies in the church wherein they were looking up to him and he made many sacrifices. Father, take all glory in the name of Jesus. Father, I want to thank you for those who have outlived him, 
who have organized this befitting service of songs in his honor. Father, accept our thanksgiving in the name of Jesus. As we assemble here in your holy presence, we confess all our sins, both collectively and individually. And we ask, O oh Lord, that you have mercy upon us in the name of Jesus. We hand over the entire service unto you. We invite the Holy Spirit, come and permeate every aspect of this service in the name of Jesus. God Almighty, come and preside over this service. In all that we shall do, in all our songs, our Bible readings, your words that will be preached, the testimonies that will be shared, our prayers, you will manifest your power in the name of Jesus. You will accept our worship in the name of Jesus. Papa, and me, your Male, had finished his work here on earth. He has gone to be with you. We pray that your life perpetual We continue to shine upon him in the name of Jesus. And the family that he has left behind, you will put in the name of Jesus. The peace that are raised there, we continue to reign supreme in the name of Jesus. All that he worked and labored for, you make them permanent in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. You will bless as many as are here physically present and as many of us as are watching us online. Pour the avalanche of your blessings upon us. We shall not leave this place empty-handed. We shall have reasons to thank you for today. Thank you for answered prayers. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. The Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us all our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. We shall remain standing to read the psalm, psalm number 90 on page 58 of the program of Christian Wake that we have in our hands, page 58, psalm 90, and we are going to read in alternate verses. The last verse will be read in unison. Lord, thou have, be, have been our dwelling place in all generations. From everlasting to everlasting, thou art God. Thou turnest back, thou turnest man back to the dust and seest, turn back. O children of men, for a thousand years in thy sight, uh, but as yesterday, when it is past, or as a watch in the night, thou dost sweep men away. They are like a dream, like grass which is renewed in the morning. In the morning it flourishes and is renewed. In the evening it fades and withers, for we are consumed by thy hunger. By thy wrath we are overwhelmed. Thou hast set our iniquities before thee, our secret sins in the light of thy countenance. For all our days pass away under thy wrath. Our years come to an end like a sigh. The years of our life are three score and ten, or even by reason of strength four score. Yet their span is but toil and trouble. They are soon gone and we fly away. Who consider the power of thy anger and thy wrath according to the fear of thee? So teach us to number our days that we may get a heart of will. Return, O Lord, how long have pity on thy servant? Satisfy us in the morning with thy steadfast love that we may rejoice and be glad all our days. 
make us glad as many days as thou has afflicted us and as many years as we have seen evil. Let thy this be manifest to thy servants and thy glorious power to their children. Together, let the favor of the Lord our God be upon us and establish thou the work of our hands upon us. Yea, the work of our hands. <laughs> be seated. The next hymn is Overleave. Um, the sheet of paper that you have with you, the reverse side of it. Oh God, our help in ages past. Next to the one we just sang is the next one. When peace like a river attendeth my way.
Fisayo Delano to take the first reading. Ecclesiastes uh, chapter 3, verses 1 to 15. To everything there is a season, a time for every purpose under heaven, a time to be born and a time to die, a time to plant and a time to pluck what is planted a time to kill and a time to heal, a time to break down and a time to build up, a time to weep and a time to laugh, a time to mourn and a time to dance, a time to cast away stones and a time to gather stones, a time to embrace and a time to refrain from embracing, a time to gain and a time to lose, a time to keep and a time to throw away, a time to tear and a time to sow, a time to keep silence and a time to speak, a time to love and a time to hate, a time of war and a time of peace. The God given time. What prophet, what prophet has a worker from that in which he labors? I have seen God-given tasks from which the sons of men are to be occupied. He has made everything beautiful in his time. Also, he has put eternity in the heart, except that no one can find out the work that God does from beginning to end. I know that nothing is better from that to rejoice and to do good in their lives. And also that every man should eat, drink, and enjoy the good of all his labor. It is the gift of God. I know that whatever God does, it shall be forever. Nothing can be added to it, nothing taken from it. God does it that men should fear before him and which it has already been and what is to be has already been. And God requires an account of what is past. This is the word of the Lord. Uh, we appreciate um, Fisayo Delana, who has just read the first reading from Houston, Texas, in the United States of America. God bless you. The next hymn is still on this. Okay, is it prayer? Okay. The Lord be with you. Let us pray. Eternal Rock of Ages, we want to give you all glory and honor and adoration. Thank you for your church that you have built by the blood of Jesus. Thank you, God Almighty, for the blood of all the martyrs that have come, played their part, and they have come. Thank you for the church triumphants that you have called our Baba Ajamale to join now. Thank you for the church militants to which we belong. Father, we rely on you 
to continue to build your church. Do so in the name of Jesus. We pray that for your church universal, every hands of marginalization against your church, you cause them to wither in the name of Jesus. Father, we pray that you strengthen the church and you make the church to be what you desire it to be in the name of Jesus. In your church, there shall be unity. There shall be understanding. There shall be oneness. And you endow your church with power to fulfill the assignment you have given unto the church in the name of Jesus. We pray for your church in Nigeria. Father, you will grant that your light will continue to shine into your church. And your church will shine the light further into the world in the name of Jesus. We pray for the church of Nigeria and we can communion to which we belong. Father, we ask that your church will continue to carry on the assignment. The work that you have assigned the church shall be done in the name of Jesus. We pray for all church leaders that we keep them with power from above in the name of Jesus. We commit to your hands the diocese of Lagos. Father, we pray that this diocese will go from strength to strength in the name of Jesus. We pray for the bishop and the wife that leads the church now. Father, you will endow them with power from above in the name of Jesus. We pray for those of us here present and all that are hooked on to this program. We are part of your church. We pray that nothing will remove us from the church in the name of Jesus. The Bible said that in the presence of God, there is fullness of joy. We pray that that fullness of joy will be our portion in the name of Jesus. Eternal rock of ages on a daily basis. You will open our eyes to continue to behold wondrous things in your law. In the name of Jesus. We pray, Father, that the blood of Jesus Christ that was shed on behalf of the church will never be in waste in the name of Jesus. Lord, we know that a part of your church is with you in heaven, and a part of your church is with you presently on earth. We're looking forward unto the end of the ages when you will bring everybody together. Father, we pray that at the last assembly, none of us will be missing in the name of Jesus. Your church will continue to experience your power and your leading in the name of Jesus. Your Holy Spirit will never depart from your church in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Blessed be your name, Lord. In Jesus' mighty and holy name we have prayed. Amen. Still sitting, we shall take the next hymn. Um, it's in the sheet of paper as well. The one at the bottom. Oh, Lord, my God, when high in awesome wonder.
honor to invite Bushola Achomale from Scotland, in the United Kingdom, to take the next Bible reading. Good evening. Bible reading from 1 Thessalonians 4, verses 13 to 18. But I do not want you to be ignorant, brethren, concerning those who have fallen asleep, lest you sorrow as others who have no hope. For if we believe that Jesus died and rose again, even so God will bring with him those who sleep in Jesus. For this we say to you, by the word of the Lord, that we who are alive and remain until the coming of the Lord will by no means precede those who are asleep. For the Lord himself will descend from heaven with a shout, with the voice of an archangel and with the trumpet of God and the dead in Christ will rise first. Then we who are alive and remain shall be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air. And thus we shall always be with the Lord. Therefore comfort one another with these words. This is the word of our God. I have the honor and privilege <laughs> on our brother, Zenri Bola Dipoa Jomale who, by God's grace, is a senior clergyman of the Anglican Diocese of Ibadan, who will pray for our nation, Nigeria. The Lord be with you. Let us pray. Immortal, invisible God, only wise, the King of kings and the Lord of lords, the Alpha and the Omega, we thank you, Lord, for the life and times of our dearly departed patriarch, husband, father, grandfather, and great grandfather, chief, Mobonlanle Ademola Ajomale, whom we love, but you love more than us, and you call to your bosom. Eternal rest continue to grant unto him in Jesus' name. Father, Almighty God, as we are gathered here this beautiful late afternoon, we commit our dear country, Nigeria, into your hands. Nigeria is the Lord and the land and the people thereof. Asking, O oh Lord, our Father, that to be with us in our dear country, Nigeria. We thank you for your kind mercy, for save towards our dear country, Nigeria, throughout its long history. We now ask in this present day whereby we are having scenes of affluence that to realism and from indifference to the need to inspire your church that to grant to our leaders the president, the vice president, the ministers, the governors, the national assembly, the state assemblies, the houses of assembly. Not only that, we ask that the judiciary, state, federal, and local government grant unto them the soundness of judgment and the courage of decision. We ask that you unite us in a common zeal to honor you and to serve mankind. Father Almighty God, what we are asking is the renewal of our Christian faith, a recovery of spiritual values, a return to the paths of righteousness. And at this point in time, Father, we commit those who are affected by the COVID-19 pandemic that you heal and deliver them. Now, Father Almighty God, you put a stop you stem in the board, you nip in the board, the COVID-19 pandemic ravaging Nigeria and the whole world. The Father Almighty God, your day will be glorified. You are the Jehovah Rapha, the Master Hila, the great physician. Perfect everything concerning the healing process of your people 
in Nigeria and outside Nigeria in Jesus' name. We pray that your Holy Spirit divine may move the hearts of the people of Nigeria and take away all that we tend to divide us in Jesus' name. We equally pray, Lord, that Nigeria will not be divided against itself in Jesus' name. Father Almighty God, we pray that your name will be glorified in the land. The Father, at the end of the age, all that we are asking concerning Nigeria, you will grant unto us. Make good your promises unto us, so that your name will be glorified, and the blessings will be our portion. These and many more we have asked, through the merits of your Son and our Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. We shall take the next hymn, Nekpa Ifeo Lugbala. It's on page 46 of the program of Christian Waking. <laughs> me, O thou great Jehovah, on page 45.
It's time for us to share our testimonies concerning the life and times of Papa Chief Mobolan Leadimola Hajomali. Papa was our father. Papa was our uncle. Papa was Mama's husband and darling. Papa was a grandfather, great grandfather a faithful and loyal soldier of Christ who served God with unrivaled commitment. We lived with him. We were with him for several years. A number of us were very close to him. We enjoyed his presence, his wise counsels, a number of other things that God used him to do for us both as individuals and as families. So I want us to just share with us what we know about him. I already have four names submitted to me for this purpose. But then, if there are some here who are still interested in sharing testimonies about Papa's life and times, the opportunity will be given. I will give the opportunity. I want to allot time to this. So each test testifier is going to spend two minutes maximum. Otherwise, we're going to be here hard infinitum. So do we have any other person here who is interested in sharing one or two testimonies about Papa Obolanle Ademola Jomale? Okay. Um, Okay, when it is your turn, I will let you know. And you too, sir. Okay. So the first person I want to call on now is Deji Delano. Okay. We have, um, you have only yeah. two minutes. Two minutes, please. Time consciousness is important and to be highly appreciated. Thank you. Okay, good evening, everybody. Uh, this is Deji. Um, I am uh, grandfather's uh, grandson, I'm calling in from uh, Philadelphia. Um, and uh, this is my uh, testimony to, to granddad. Um, granddad was always um, one who I loved dearly and uh, always had um, happiness whenever I would see him. Uh, he was one who uh, showed his love to all his grandchildren and uh, was always ever so encouraging to each and every one of us. Uh, he was the epitome of a God-fearing man and he definitely instilled or helped instill um, the values that um, have shaped me uh, to become the man I am today. Uh, he was one of my biggest supporters in all of my endeavors, uh, in particular, um, my aspiration uh, to pursue medicine. So um, I will always remember all of his uh, lessons and um, I'll always keep him close, close to me um, in my heart as I uh, go on every day. May you rest in peace. Did we appreciate you? It was concise. And um, I know those of you who live in the Western world are always mindful of time. And we are grateful. You will live longer than Papa if Christ tarries in the name of Jesus. And all your endeavors you will excel in the name of Jesus. Um, the next person now. My okay. Is Mayoko de Lano. Hello, everyone. Um, yes, I'll just uh, I'll go ahead and read um, what I've prepared here uh, for my testimony. Um, as you will hear many, you'll hear over and over from, from us grandchildren and even uh, those around him. Uh, it cannot be said enough how much this man loved on those around him and, and how much he was loved in return. Um, granddad was a man full of love for literally every person that he encountered. 
uh, in my life, I watched him spread uh, much joy to others. And uh, he was truly a, a gentle uh, man. Uh, sure, there were times that he had to deal with conflict, when he had to be stern, when he had to discipline, uh, firsthand troublemaker. But uh, I don't remember him ever being angry or, or raising his voice at anyone. Um, he always faced others and, and those that he was in conflict with, with uh, kindness and compassion. As Deji said, whenever he came into town, uh, us living in Houston, whenever he came into town, he made sure that we were all loved and supported in all of our endeavors, always behind us, rooting for us and celebrating with us. Um, and yeah, in every aspect I can think of, he is a, a role model above any other. And um, I hope to one day be as amazing a grandfather as he has been. We're all better for having known him and God has blessed us all through his life. Rest in peace, Granddad. Thank you, Mayo Kong, for that um, testimony about your grandfather. We want to appeal to you to place a number of those um, lessons that you have learned from him. Please take them on board in your life and reflect them in all that you do. Papa was a genuine child of God and he was a Christian in whom there, is, there was no guy. So we have no doubt at all that he's going to be with the Lord. I will pray that as many as are yet to surrender their lives to Christ, even within Papa's families, God Almighty will reveal himself to them. The Holy Spirit will convince them and prevail upon them. And all of you will accept him and be saved in Jesus' name. It's now Bolade, Mobolade Ajomale. I was thinking you were the one. Okay, that's Bola Junior. All right. Yeah. yeah. Good evening, everyone. Um, my granddad was a man of few words, um, but when he spoke, he did so with authority and wisdom. Um, he was an adventurer. I remember his stories about places I've never even imagined existed. Um, and I always thought to myself, I want to go there one day. Uh, my granddad was smooth um, from the distinct cologne that seemed to never change through the years. Um, the humming, the second his foot touched the staircase. Um, I still, to this day, don't know what song he was singing, but it remain a mystery. Um, he loved talking to me about my athletics, uh, constantly reminding me that I got my abilities from him, that he used to run track when he was younger. My granddad loved to dance. The same one, two step went along with every single song, no matter what it was. It was the same one, two step. Uh, most importantly, he was a leader and a trendsetter. Um, something he always said at the end of whatever it was, like we said earlier, he's a God-fearing man. And one, one quote he always said was, well, we thank God. Uh, that was a famous line of his. Um, and I thank God for your life, granddad. Um, I have the same initials as him, M-A Ajamale. And when I found that out, I was like, yeah. Um, and it's an honor. And Granddad, I thank you for your lessons. Thank you for the support, the inspirational WhatsApp messages. Um, and I'm, I am really honored to be known as M.A. Ajamali II. I love you, Granddad. And thank you for the, 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 the athletic, dancing, adventuring characteristics you passed down onto me. You will be missed. Thank you, Mobola de Ajomali, Emi Ajomali the second. It is well with you in Jesus' name. We'd like to invite Angela Ajomali. Good evening, everyone. Um, 
when I was trying to come up with words to try to describe um, Grandad's life, there really aren't any words that can fully explain um, to those who don't really know him as well as we did, just the kind of man he was to us um, and the kind of man he was in general. Um, like my cousins and my brother have said, um, there, there hasn't really been a time where I could see Grandad being angry or um, out of character. You know, you could never catch him off guard. He was so gentle, so kind, so caring, so loving, so forgiving. And I could go on listing characteristics. He was generous, thoughtful, and so full of wisdom, which he tried to pass down. And I think he did a very good job of passing that on to his grandchildren, all of us. Uh, their story um, Christmas time especially you know a time of love and everything and he would make sure to bring us all together um, so that we can share lasting memories he was a family man to his children he was a constant sort of support to his grandchildren as well support love you know they say grandparents are meant to spoil their grandkids and granddad really made sure he fulfilled that part in all of our lives um, and there are eight of us. So that just shows you the kind of generous man that he is. Like he made sure to spoil every single one of us in our own ways so that none of us felt left out. Um, and with myself, um, I want to be a lawyer as well, just like granddad. And when he, when he found that out, he made sure to take time to encourage me, um, guide me on the steps I should take and where I should go and always making sure that I put God first and that everything else will be taken care of. Um, it has truly been a pleasure, an honor to be his granddaughter and um, he'll be dearly missed. Rest in peace, granddad, I love you. Thank you, Angela, we appreciate you. May God grant you long life and good health and all other desires of your hearts in Jesus' name. We have uh, two of our fathers who have equally signified interest in giving testimonies. Please come. Yeah. Good evening, everybody. My name is my name is uh, Maulawali Ajomali. Um, Uncle Bolanli, as um, many of us here know was my uncle, sorry. Yeah, he was my uncle. I'm not used to saying was. Um, he was somebody that was nice to be around with. He was a good road model to many members of the family. In fact, was a, like a hero to many of us. Growing up, um, I found out that he had a lot of lessons to teach us. In fact, some of us took to him to fashion our families because of the way, the kind of love that he showed and see. Even up to the end, he was there taking care. In the adulted years, it was fantastic. Um, a good company to be with, especially to pass on wisdom. One thing that, he told, that I learned from him was contentment, because he was a man full of content, contentment. He told me, he said, that contentment is a characteristic that you have. It's that characteristic that will make a poor man to be rich, to be wealthy, and makes a rich man who doesn't have it to be poor. And um, I found that very profound. Also, a, the kind of love that he showed his um, siblings was um, immense and uh, it's something to be uh, copied. Um, I, we, we, I wish that uh, he's still here with us, but God knows best. Um, one other thing was the way he resuscitated the Ajomale family union after a lapse. And uh, I believe that uh, the shoes that he has left is big, but I pray that we will accomplish much more than he did. I pray for the unity, for love in this family. I pray that God will hold the family together and that God will grant him eternal rest, sweet repose in his bosom, 
and light perpetual will shine on him in Jesus' name. Can we give him our hands and give our hands to all the children who have given testimonies earlier? If you want to clap, can you please clap? Thank you very much. There's a man behind you who um, showed interest ahead of you. Good evening. My name is Benga Darukwali. Uh, I live in 4B Milan Way. You know, Baba take us as his home, my family. When we moved to this estate in 1998, you know, it takes time about, we married about eight years ago, but we couldn't get charged. But through Baba, Baba linked us with one of his uh, friends, Dr. Sikwade, and God answered our prayer. And since then, everybody know me with Baba. When I'm coming to my work, and when I come from the work, I will be with Baba. This lockdown, Baba called me, Benga, how do you live? He sent money to us. In everything, in fact, is Mama. So I want to tell you, in, in, when we are talking the word of God, he talks about humility. When you go down, when, at times when you're coming from Abuja, I say, Benga, I'm just coming from Abuja. Oh, let us talk you, oh, whatever, you know. And I sit down with him and they will talk a lot. So my prayer is that may so grant the peace in Jesus' name. Thank you, Father. Thank you from this estate. I'm not going to allow more than after Papa, please, please, please. We are not going to be here all night, please, please. Please. Oh, you want to tell me, you want to, you want to promise that you won't spend more than a minute each? Not more than a minute each. All right, let's go. It's you, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, are you not a uh, papa? Even me that I'm much younger, people refer to me as Baba. Good evening, everybody. Um, I don't know where to start. But the point is that um, Brother, as I usually call him, because he's my brother, but the age gap is, but the age gap is uh, someone that I can, I can be his son, because the gap is there. And I re remember vividly, when he was getting married to Mama, I was about nine years old. And when they came back from the, Church. The funny thing, I will not forget. In those days, in those days, um, things were not like this. And I was, I just sat down there. I just sat down in front of the house. I was looking at Mama, beautiful lady. And of course, see my. <laughs> At that time, the, 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 the gap does not make me to really take him as a brother, but as somebody, as a father. But the point is that when I now came to Lagos, we were living in the Borithomos with my sister and his own house is not far from that place. And it's, that's an opportunity for me to really be close to him. And I was studying accountancy here in Nigeria. He was really impressed and he encouraged me to the last to see that I had good results and I passed my exams in good grades. And that was then ACCA. Honestly, he followed my progress and he was always happy. Even when I was made the general secretary of the Council of Ife, Honorary Tertiary, 
she was he was very happy he congratulated me that day he said please make sure you did this job very well and i must confess to you that he really supported me in everything you know when he sees my circular he will make sure that he attends that meeting when they say you contribute anything you will be the first to contribute and i said her brother has made me proud i was really happy for all these things um i would really miss him no doubt because i never expected that the time is up now i never expected it because he did not give anybody any sign uh i know is resting in the bosom of the lord and god will grant him uh, everlasting rest may his soul rest in perfect peace um he has so many things to say that he couldn't even you know express them he's so overwhelmed um we appreciate you sir yes sir please are you the last person now is there another person there was a lady trying to signify okay she has repented of that she doesn't want to share the testimony again. good evening uh, my name is b ogubanjo <laughs> you see my late uncle had a fault. Everybody's been saying good things. And the fault was, he was too nice. Nice to a fault. The one I can remember was, because I got into Loyola before Bola, and anytime he came visiting, I always looked forward to that 15 naira that he gave myself and Bola. I won't tell you what I did with the money. That's a story for another day. Oh, please. I will also like to say that whatever it is we do, wherever we are, we should always be mindful to take care of the young ones coming behind because you never know where anybody can get to. On that note, I'll say, may you rest in peace. And may light perpetual shine upon you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Um, yes, Ma. She has spent a minute. No, I will still, I will still allow you to say one or two things. Um, where do I start from? Um, Brother Abulani, I hate to refer to you as in the past. You were a dashing young man. When I was a teenager, you were somebody to look up to as a suitor. The way you came back from work, ate your meal, and ran out to see Helen. And you made a lot of impression of what a future husband should be. When you eventually got married to her, was another level of what responsibility should be. When we were young, people had four, six children. You had two and you were satisfied. And nobody could say anything. 
you were just happy and contented with what you had. And God was on your side and blessed you. What I admire about you is that they don't make them too many like you. God blessed you. You were a silent giver. And you encourage young things to grow. I feel for your wife because um, she is the one that will take the brunt of all these things we have been seeing. In another week, this house will be all to her and she will be by herself. But God will not leave her alone. With those two children, you have done so well because they too have multiplied. And like the Holy Book says, a good tree will bear good fruit. You did bear good fruit. And you nurtured even your grandchildren as you did your siblings and anybody who cares to ask for help. Brother, you are a fine man, one of the finest. You were an introvert to some extent, but you had class. You blessed people. Your church, just for asking, you will do it in your own way, silently. And that's one of the things I admire about you. My name is Lolade. And people think he had a sister that was called Loladi. After brother left for England, I lived in the house and people came and asked, are you Loladi Ajumali? I would say, mm, no, I'm Loladi Oyewole. But with time, people call me Loladi Oyewole or Loladi Dudu, Loladi Kukwa, because sister Loladi was black and I was light skinned. Brother was good. Mama Shalaki, a cool lady. And you don't feel a cool badge. Uluwa drew tea. Uluwa dim. Eh. Ojo Alen Adarasi. Eh. You know, you do. Only Baba Tau for saying no knowing. Luru Kojesu. Thank you, Ma. Let's give her a round of applause. We appreciate it. Um, if you look at the program, we are in number, number 15, no, sorry, number 12. So we are going to listen to another Bible reading to be taken by Demilade Delano. He is going to read from Houston, Texas, the United States of America. A reading from... Revelation 21, 1 to 8. Now I, saw, now I saw a new heaven and a new earth, for the first heaven and the first earth had passed away. Also, there was no more sea. Then I, John, saw the holy city, New Jerusalem, coming down out of heaven from God, prepared as a bridge adorned as a bride adorned for her husband. And I hear a loud voice from heaven saying, behold, the tabernacle of God is with, man, with, is with men and he will dwell with them and they shall be his people. God himself will be with them and be their God. And God will wipe away every tear from their eyes. There shall be no more death, nor sorrow, nor crying. There shall be no more pain for the former things have passed away. Then he who sat on the throne said, behold, I make all things new. And he said to me, right for these words are true and faithful. And he said to me, it is done. I am the alpha and the omega, the beginning and the end. I will give of the fountain of the water of life freely to him who thirsts. 
He who overcomes shall inherit all things, and I will be his God, and he shall be my son. But the cowardly, unbelieving, abominable, murderers, sex sexually immoral, sorcerers, idolaters, and all liars shall have their part in the lake, which burns with fire and brimstone, which is the second death. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Thanks be to God. Thank you. We are going back to item 7-2. Item 7-2, forever with the Lord. The hymn is on page 14 of the programs that we are using. Forever with the Lord. We shall now go to pages 18 and 19. We shall take Jerusalem to run the first two stanzas and the last two stanzas. The first two and the last two. Jerusalem to run. It starts from page 18 to page 19. <laughs> Thank you. 
as I fight. you let us bow our heads to pray our father in heaven we are gathered unto you we thank you most sincerely from the depth of our heart for the quality of life that you gave papa chief mobile Ademola Ajomale. we thank you for all the testimonies that were shared about his life and times we thank you because he came into this world you empowered them to achieve so many things. And at the fullness of time in your own calendar, he encountered Jesus Christ. And his life was transformed. And he touched many lives. He served you. He was very dogged in the church, serving like no tomorrow. We thank you because you piloted him all through. You carried him on your shoulders. You gave him many years to enjoy your blessings in the land of the living. We thank you that you chose Mama Helen for him and you supported the two of them. You were there in their home. You blessed their home with good children. And these children too have produced many children. And today, Papa is not dead. Baba is asleep. Because when we see the children, the grandchildren, we shall continue to remember him. We thank you for Mama, that since the demise of Papa, you have been upholding her. You have been encouraging her. You have been speaking words of consolation and words of comfort unto her. We bring her before you, our new old God. We pray you will sanctify her in the name of Jesus. We pray you renew her strength in the name of Jesus. We pray you will stand by her. You will encourage her in the name of Jesus. The vacuum that Papa left, in your wisdom, you will fail for her in the name of Jesus. We are requesting for something very special to us, O Lord, from you. That you will grant Mama divine healing in the name of Jesus. Psychologically, you will heal her. Physically, you will heal her. Emotionally, you will heal her. We pray that Mama, in good health, you will live for many more years. And regardless of how long you live, you will not mourn over any of your children. These children and grandchildren that God has given to you, we continue to be sources of joy unto you in the name of Jesus. When you see them, when you hear from them, you will continue to have reasons to rejoice in the name of Jesus. On the account of your children and grandchildren, you will not bury your head in shame in the name of Jesus. I will pray for the children. We ask, O oh Lord, that Papa did well. These testimonies have been flowing. May they do better in the name of Jesus. Holy Spirit, we hand them over to you. You will circumcise your heart. You will take preeminence of their lives. You will possess them in the name of Jesus. Papa was to turn 89 this coming Monday. And we prophesy into your life, Brother Bola, we use you as a point of contact for your sister. You will live longer than Papa in the name of Jesus. Papa enjoyed good health. I used to compete with him in the church to dance. 
uh, up until the last Sunday that he attended service before the commencement of the lockdown. We still danced together in the church. God Almighty, we grant you both divine agility in the name of Jesus. In your chosen career, the two of you will excel in the name of Jesus. Things that you desire, God will oblige you in the name of Jesus. And I prophesy and decree into your lives. No weapon fashioned against you will prosper. Every battle that you will fight, you will win. I declare both of you as champions in the name of Jesus. You will fulfill your purpose in life in the name of Jesus. And I pray for your children. You have outlived your father. Your children will outlive you in the name of Jesus. On their account, you will not mourn in the name of Jesus. Those children will go places. Lives will continue to fall onto them in pleasant places in the name of Jesus. Their heritage is already goodly. It will not be godly in the name of Jesus. Where they are located, they will attract favor. They will attract mercy. Even things they don't deserve, God will give unto them in the name of Jesus. In the academics, they will come out in flying colors. They will all pass with distinctions. And good job, God will provide for them. When it is time for them to choose life partners, God Almighty will choose for them. They will not make wrong choices. Children, wives or husbands that will turn their back to their parents, they will not encounter them. In the name of Jesus, God will feed them with heavenly wisdom. They will grow up to love God. They will grow up to serve God. They will grow up to fear God. The entire Jomale family will forever be proud of them. In the name of Jesus, I will pray for other members of the bigger Jomale family. It is well with all of you in the name of Jesus. Whatever it is that you desire, because you are here tonight, receive it in the name of Jesus. And the, already, the ones you already have received, you will not lose them in the name of Jesus. God will continue to showcase his glory and his power in your lives in the name of Jesus. Papa was a unifying factor. He was the arrowhead. Your family will remain united even after his exit in the name of Jesus. That love that you share we work stronger and stronger in the name of Jesus. Things of rejoicing will be multiplied to you. Things of joy will increase in your lives. Things that will make you to gather for joy with events. You will have them in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. We pray for the entire Jomale family at home and abroad. COVID-19 pandemic will not be your portion. You will not lose anyone who is related to you. And those of us who are not members of our Jomali family too, we shall not die but live. And those that give us joy, we shall not lose them. Thank you, Father. The house where Papa lived until his death. Come and tabernacle there, oh God. Come and live there, oh God. You will write your wall of protection around this compound. Marudas will not come in there. Evil people will not come in there because it will be your abode in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. So the last Bible reading is going to be taken by Folahon Ajomale. Uh, you'll be reading from Ottawa in Canada. Folahon Ajomale. John 14, 1 to 6. Let not your heart be troubled. You believe in God. Believe also in me. In my father's house are many mansions. If it were not so, I would have told you. I go to prepare a place for you. And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again and receive you to myself. That where I am, there you may be also. And where I go, you know, and the way you know. Thomas said to him, Lord, we do not know where you are going and how can, and how can we know the way? Jesus said to him, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. Salem Toron, Ori me lumi, Ile mi bimbaku, Eko ibu kumi, Ibi ayo, Niba woni, Jure Olorumi 
Let us pray. Father in heaven, we pray that you open the eyes of our inner understanding and you grant us to behold wondrous things in your law. Even as we listen to this short exhortation, in Jesus' mighty and holy name we pray. Amen. I want to commiserate with the with Mama Ajomole, Mama Helene Ajomole, and all the children and the grandchildren and the great grandchildren and all the family members of Baba Ajomole. I pray that God Almighty will continue to stay by you in the mighty name of Jesus. I appreciate uh, coming. And I also want to thank those that are joining us on the Zoom. I pray that it shall be well with all of us in the mighty name of Jesus. Briefly this evening, before we round off, I just want to share the word of God with us. And I want us to know that there is eternal victory for every Christian. At the end of our sojourn on earth, at the end of our life here, at the end of our journey here, there is eternal victory for all of us. A victory that will bring joy. A victory that will bring comfort to all of us. Revelation chapter 7, verse 13 through to verse 17, uh, will explain this to us. But verse 14 of it precisely says, in part, these are the ones who come out of the great tribulation and wash their robes and made them white in the blood of the Lamb. The emphasis there is on the first part. These are the ones who come out of the great tribulation. And just as I'm reading this to us, something is striking my mind because they say that they made their robes to be white in the blood of the Lamb. That's a mystery. Blood is, is red, but they use the blood that is red to make their robes to be white and that is what god can do when we allow him to watch us and he watch us clean in the name of jesus god blesses every christian with victory and with life victory because they triumph over sin triumph over flesh and over the world and over evil and over satan and life because we have life in this present world and the world hereafter the Christian victory and the life that we have can only be achieved based on three things. John chapter 5, verse 24 says, Most assuredly, I say to you, he who hears my word and believes in him who sent me has everlasting life and shall not come unto judgment, but has passed from death unto life. And in 1 John chapter 3, verse 14, the Bible says, He we know that we have passed from death to life because we love the brethren. He who does not love his brother abides in death. If you summarize these two scriptures of the Bible, you will agree with me that the word of God, which we must believe and in which we must delight, as well as our belief in God, knowing him to be the sovereign God and he who will judge at the end, as well as our love for the brethren, are the things that can make us to enjoy the victory at the end and the life eternal that will be given at the end. So these three things as well, that is the word of God, our belief in God, and our love for the brethren, will draw us and give us more power to do God's bidding and to be committed to serving God. God is served through the church and through man. I want to thank God for all the testimonies about Baba today. Um, you see, a number of things happens in the world that will take us by surprise. Abraham, at the age of 90, received a new name from Abraham to Abraham. I also know of a man who received his promotion on the day of his retirement. He was a colonel until the last day. On the day of his retirement, after the service and the bishop was giving the notices, 
he preferred him an archdeacon and they have to go back and rework his uh, retirement entitlement if anybody has told him that he's going to retire as an archdeacon he will not believe it and so if today i want to rename baba or ask to baba's name because when i was listening to the testimony you know this testimony speaks volume today i wish we can rename him as Iwabi Olorun. Iwabi Olorun. That is the summary of all I heard in the testimony. And that was because Baba was close to God. When you are close to God, you wear the garment of God's own behavior and characteristics. And I pray that this will be our portion in the mighty name of Jesus. Our text, Revelation chapter 7. Verse 9 to 10 and verse 13 to 17. Talk of those who have the final victory, which shall also be everlasting. And I note from those uh, scriptures that one, death is a leveler. You remember in verse 9, he says, all nations, all tribes, all people, all tongues. In our own generation, we can add to it every kind of people. The rich, the poor, those that are tall, those that are short, the light complexion, the dark complexion, every kind of people will still come to pass through this stage in life. Two, the victors in that scripture, they are pure and they have peace as it is being shown in being in white robes. And verse 14 says, they wash their robes in the blood of the lamb, purity and the peace at the end. Three, they bear the mark of victory because verse nine says that they were having palms in their hands which signifies victory, which every child of God will have. And verse 10 says that they pass out of great tribulation. I pray that whatever hardship we are facing today will pass out of them in the mighty name of Jesus. And four, they continuously worship God, standing before God and worshiping him day and night. They declare his salvation in loud voices, and they are always before the throne. And five, the final victory which they have is expressed in verse, 9, uh, verse 16 and verse 17 of Revelation chapter 7. And I want to read those two verses. Say, they shall neither hunger anymore nor test anymore. The sun shall not st strike them, nor heat, nor any heat. For the Lamb who is in the midst of the throne will shepherd them and lead them to living fountains of water. Note that, not fountains of living water, but to living fountains of water. So the water and the fountain and everything, they are living. And God will wipe away tear from their eyes. I want to add it. As for Baba now, there's no more marginalization. There's no more uh, um, issue of Fulani or whatever. There's no more racism. There's no more economic recession. There's no more 5G, no more COVID-19 or Confucian 19. Baba has passed all those things. We have to prepare for our end. I want to say Baba prepared himself and prepare the family to always belong to God. There's a need for us to prepare for our end so that we can escape regrets. And in this, I want to share two case, uh, stories with us before I round off. I went to visit a man in the hospital who was sick and the doctor had told him that man, uh, your time is off. The doctor actually repeated it when I got there, said, pastor, this man cannot survive it. And the man heard the first time that the, uh, the doctor said it. And on the sick bed, he was shedding tears. And the spirit told me that this man is regretting how he lived his life. Only a very simple thing killed him. An elderly man who has been told not to take anything sugar, he will still go and buy minerals. They will send children on the street to go and buy minerals until people, elders in the, in the community, ban every child not to buy mineral for, from buying mineral for him. He will hide himself and go and buy Fanta and Coca-Cola and put in his Agbada and when, uh, will go to a hidden place and will be drinking until his problem came. 
And so he was regretting that had I known, I wouldn't have lived my life this way. I pray that had I known, would not be a portion in the name of Jesus. We may say that, that that is just health issue. But the way the man is regretting, an elderly man told me that some people will regret at the end if God made them to see the way they have lived their life. And I pray that that will not be a portion in the name of Jesus. Of recent, we lost a man of God. And when I was discussing with the wife, the wife made me to understand that he called all the children, he called the in-law and was advising them. And at the end, he was telling God, God, what have I asked you to do for me that you have not done for me? And he began to sing. I never know you will honor me this way. I never know you will honor. And that was the song that the man sang until he gave up. Compare the two. Somebody regretted at the end and somebody rejoiced at the end. I pray that for us, when our time will come, it will not be sorrowful exit in the name of Jesus. When our time will come, it will be glorious and joyful exit in the mighty name of Jesus. Finally, Ecclesiastes chapter 12, verse 13 and 14. Let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter. Fear God and keep his commandments, for this is the whole duty of man. For God shall bring every work unto judgment with every secret things, whether it be good or whether it be evil. Those of us present here today and those who are under uh, the ministry of my voice through the Zoom, the Bible is telling us today, fear God and keep his commandment that when our own end will come, it will be a joyous end in the mighty name of Jesus. Baba, if Baba is allowed to say one or two things before he passed away, he will be able to say, I have fought the good fight. And that's why we need to fear God and keep his commandment so that when our own time will come, we'll be able to say we have fought the good fight. We have kept the race. And I pray that at that time, God will grant unto us the crown of life in the mighty name of Jesus. Let us pray. Judging from what God has told you today, you will agree that there is a need for us to live for God and not to live for ourselves. To believe and submit to him, to denounce sin and Satan, and to accept Christ as our Lord and Savior. And so if you are thinking of the salvation of your soul, why don't you talk it over with God? Just tell him, Father, I can see myself. I want you, Lord Father, to make me thy, your own, to purify me, to give me a good end, that I will have that comfort at the end, that joy at the end, that victory at the end. We cannot do it by ourselves. Tell God, Father, I need your help. I want to be yours forever. Make me your own. And let me live for you. Heavenly Father, we want to thank you for the word that you have spoken to us today. We know that right now we'll be thinking and meditating on your word. And even after now, we will meditate on your words to us. We pray that your Holy Spirit will teach us the more in the name of Jesus. Every right step that we need to take in our lives, that will not be cast away, that will not regret at the end, Father, teach us in the mighty name of Jesus. And we pray, Father, that will not destroy our heaven with the way we live our life on earth, in the name of Jesus. All that you have spoken to us today, help us, Father, to keep them in our hearts and to follow them, to live by them in our lives, that will be pleasing unto thee, in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Blessed be your name, Lord. In Jesus' mighty and holy name we have prayed. Amen. Praise the Lord. 
May I invite our Father Commodore Tokumbo Ajomali, retired, to come and give the vote of thanks. My name again, Air Commodore Ajomali, retired, but not tired. <laughs> ah, if not for God, can we be here today? Not definitely no. You got my word of thanks before I start with the Almighty. Because if not for God, all the people we are seeing, UK, America, all over the places, it wouldn't have been possible. And that is why you say, God, when you see a nice man, and you need to be uh, blessed. Whether you are alive or you are living, it will still come out neat. And that's the, exactly what has happened to us today. Uh, those who made it possible, because I was lucky to see the Riaza a little bit for, the, for this connection. Those who made it possible, may God bless them mightily in the name of Jesus. You see, we had that opportunity to see our own all over the world is not a small thing at all and uh, of course our fathers in the lord you people have done wonderfully well to the sense that you even came out you almost came to the table we had before we that have been waiting since morning that's marvelous May God continue to be with you in the name of Jesus. I'm more anointing in the name of Jesus. There are some who, started, who have been cooking since money. I don't know how many of us have benefited from the food, but if you are here to benefit, for, for, I know you will still get it before the end of the day. I pray that God will continue to give them that power and the strength to serve God in that way, in the name of Jesus. Finally, uh, it's a picture I cannot see. So, so those who are here, a lot of people has actually participated in the preparation for today. Some are here, some are not here. Wherever we are, wherever those who are not here, wherever they are. May God bless them abundantly in the name of Jesus. And for those who are present here, you will continue to enjoy the blessing of the Lord in the name of Jesus. I, our brothers and sisters, our children out there, Baba has done well. I don't know why it is always those who are bad, who are good, that are dying. Uh, I don't know. For, for, it may be what? <laughs> well, uh, Papa didn't. If if you are if you have asked him, he wouldn't have mind going as far as uh, one hundred and fifty. I didn't even show the sign at all during the last family day, the family uh, uh, the New Year party. This was a man that was dancing. Dancing. I'm sure you know that style. About we do that, you do this, do this. Ah, ah. I, uh, this our God is a wonderful Lord. On this note, I want to thank all of us present and those who have contributed one way or the other to make today a success. And God bless all of all of us in Jesus' name. Let's give him a round of applause, resounding one. Um, I want to thank God for the success of this um, Christian way keep. We handed it over to him. I took preeminence. He made it happen. We pray that he will continue to be honored in our lives and the family of Ajomalis in the name of Jesus. I don't want to say anything about Chief Emi Ajomali today. A day is coming when I will have all the opportunity to download all that I know about him. But he was a good man. He was a godly man. He was a committed Christian. He was a father to all and was generous.
to effort. May he continue to enjoy eternal repose in the bosom of his heavenly father in the name of Jesus. I want to once again commiserate with the entire Ajomali family on the home call of Papa. And we pray that those of you who are still left behind, you will live longer than Papa in Jesus' name. Mama, God will be with you. God will sustain you. God will watch over you. And your children, grandchildren, and great-grandchildren, you will not lose any of them in the mighty name of Jesus. None of them will die before you in the name of Jesus. I want to appreciate the entire Jomali family. This is a beautiful uh, event, very beautiful. You can imagine one of the blessings of COVID-19 pandemic because it has its own blessings too. Even as St. Paul Church Breville, we never knew we could meet on Zoom. Because of the location of that show, it is difficult for members to come for weekly activities. Now that there is COVID-19 around, we now meet for Bible study online. We meet for prayer meeting online. Hundreds of people join us online for Sunday worship. It's wonderful. And I want to uh, give credence to the vote of thanks that uh, Papa here, Commodore Tokumbu Ajomali, retired but not tired, as given earlier. I want to appreciate all those who have planned this. We are very, very grateful to them. The people who are working on the system, God will honor you. God will bless you. God will grant your heart desires. Untimely death will not be your portion. Let me appreciate those who are far away in the United Kingdom, United States of America, Canada, and other places. We appreciate you for being part of this um, uh, befitting funeral rites of our papa that has commenced this week. It's beautiful. You've made out time to stay there, to watch it, and to be part of it. God will honor all of you in the name of Jesus. Papa, your grandfather had done very well. Your father had done very well. But we believe God that we achieve greater things, more than he has done, than he has done in the name of Jesus. So, Mr. Bola, thank you. I, you know, he was running here and there. We pull him here. Others, we pull him there. We appreciate you. May God bless you with long life and with good health in Jesus' name. Let me place on record my deepest appreciation to very Bola Deepo Hajomale, who is a priest of Ibado, Anglican diocese. Thank you for the prayers you offer for our nation. We, I want to appeal that we continue to pray for Nigeria because the more you look, the less you see. So we may need to include in our prayers that there may be some spiritual forces that are contrary to the power of God that are involved in our government in Nigeria. So let us pray that God will um, strip them of their power, neutralize their power, nullify their plans and declare them of no consequence so that Nigeria can make headway. May we all live to enjoy the goodies of this country in Jesus name. I want to appreciate my brother, Mr. Abiodun Falude, who is on the keyboard. You did it ably well. When they were trying to drag you, you were looking at me. I said, don't worry, don't worry. They are just congregation members. They may not see what we are seeing, but they sang very well too. They sound very well. You should appreciate them. So may God continue to honor and bless you. I increase you on all sides in Jesus' name. For every other person whose name I have not mentioned, we appreciate you for being here. Let me appreciate members of St. Paul Church Breadfruit. I've been receiving messages from them. A host of them are watching online. They are part of this. And they have been sending their comments to me. So we appreciate all of you over there. May you all live long. May you continue to be in good health. May you never partake of COVID-19 pandemic in Jesus' name. Amen. Finally, let us continue to stay safe. Don't trivialize coronavirus. There was a time I was thinking it is not real. It's real. And it's ravaging. It's killing people. I know a few people that have died of coronavirus. All that we need to do, all those precautionary measures, let us please put them in place. Keep social distancing. Use sanitizer to clean your hands. Use water and soap to clean your hands regularly. 
and please wear your face mask. Don't go out without having it on. We shall not die on timely in the name of Jesus. Please let us prevail all other people now. Please be mindful of the fact that COVID-19 pandemic is still very much around. When you see what kills us in the name of Jesus, let us not take things for granted. Avoid a place where there are too many people. Avoid the place. And if you need to go out, please be fortified be with you and all of us in Jesus' name. The funeral service is on Monday, June the 8th, at 11 after the program it will be picked. The Lord be with you. We shall sing uh, by with me, fast force the even tide on page 37. We are not going to and to sing it. Father and our God, we want to raise Ebenezer unto you that either two you have helped us. We thank you for the resounding success of this program. We thank you for all who are instrumental to this achieved success. We thank you for Papa's life and times once again. We pray that from those testimonies share, the songs that were for song, the Bible readings, the message that you have sent to us. May you continue to fortify us spiritually in the name of Jesus. As we sojourn here on earth, may you constantly remind us that we are only pilgrims in this world in the name of Jesus. Teach us to daily number our days so as to apply our hearts unto wisdom in the name of Jesus. We pray for all those who live outside this country, the Ajomalis, the Delanos, that have participated in this program today, continue to watch over them. Continue to look after them. Father, you will surround them with your fire in the name of Jesus. You will build a hedge around them, wherever they will be from time to time, in the name of Jesus. And no weapon fashioned against each and every one of them we ever prosper in the name of Jesus. In the places where they are working or schooling, we ask that their desires will be satisfied in the name of Jesus. As the dental discharge of bullets, we not eat any of them in the name of Jesus. We shall not receive any bad news concerning them in the name of Jesus. Over there, you will prosper the works of their hand. 
Over there, you will lift them higher and higher. Over there, you will turn them to celebrities. We shall continue to hear good news from them. I will pray that none of them will derail in the name of Jesus. All those things that are being embraced in the Western world, homosexuality, bestiality, transgender, all those things will not be their portion in the name of Jesus. Jesus, you will reign in their lives. You will reign in their homes. And they will radiate your glory in the name of Jesus. We pray for all of us who are here and others who are watching at the comfort of their homes. Continue, O oh Lord, to safeguard us in the name of Jesus. We have prayed that we will not be tired of praying against coronavirus. Father, destroy it totally in Nigeria in the name of Jesus. We pray for the government and those scientists and the frontline health workers that you will grant them the heavenly wisdom with which to get a vaccine that will work against this COVID-19 in the name of Jesus. Those who are vulnerable, especially the health workers, help us to protect them, help us to guide them. They will not die of this COVID-19 in the name of Jesus. I will pray, oh Lord God, that those who have died, the families that they have left, you will comfort them. We pray for those who are in isolation, help us to heal them in the name of Jesus. We don't want to re receive cases again. Bring it to an end in the name of Jesus. And we declare Nigeria for Christ in the name of Jesus. Every other agenda, agenda that is contrary to the reason why Christ came into the world, died and rose, we cancel in the name of Jesus. Nigeria will not be Islamized in the name of Jesus. The agenda of the full and the is cancelled in the name of Jesus. All those who are behind this evil agenda, exposed, disgraced, put to shame in the name of Jesus. Let peace reign in this country. Let there be prosperity in our land. Revamp our economy for us. Thank you, Father. We pray that as we go home, your presence will go with us. We shall not regret coming here tonight. I will pray that when we shall sleep, you will grant all of us sound sleep. We shall not die in our sleep. Nightmare will not be a portion. Thank you, Father. Monday, the 8th of June, is handed over to you. Have your way. You will permeate every aspect of those that program in the name of Jesus. We are grateful, Lord. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Unto God's gracious mercy and protection, we commit the entire Jomali family at home and the diaspora, all the congregation members of St. Paul, Breadfruits, and all of us and the families that we represent. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face to shine upon you and be gracious unto you. The Lord lift up the light of his countenance upon you, grant you peace, both now and evermore. Amen. Amen. Cameraman, thank you very much. We appreciate you. God bless you.
Thank you. 